So Lisa Live, yeah. you're in Vancouver. I am. You've left the city of Calgary and now you're on the road. Yeah, thank God. But I, I'd like to know more about the goddess and you and what's going on in, in your internal world and then how is it now coming into the external world? Sure. Do you need the earphones? You need to plug this in. Okay. <laughs> so I'll preface it with long years ago when in my 20s my teacher who's Indian told me that I had this certain kind of energy and it was a sexual energy called Shakti and it was really good for creating, manifesting, blowing through walls if you wanted to. And over the years we've always talked about the energy, money, how to attract money. And I'm thinking, okay, well if I'm a Shakti and I have this energy, then how come I'm not attracting more wealth into my life? If I'm doing all the spiritual work, where's the money? So <laughs> the other day, or actually it was a month ago, I'm being intimate with my partner and when I closed my eyes, I saw one of the goddesses appear, and she's the one with all the arms and legs. I forget their names all the time. Mother she's the destroyer because she's standing on a baby, I think, with a knife. She chops men's heads off, basically as a metaphor for consciousness. If you're not going to be conscious, we're going to fuck, and feminine is going to come in and chop your head off. And I saw her, and I was like, oh, that was cool. And, and then I saw her again. And so when I was with my teacher, I explained it to him. And he says, good, good, Lisa. Just make sure that you say a prayer for them when you see them. I said, does it matter if I think I saw them or not? He goes, no, no, you saw her. Just say a prayer to her as a divine and offer it as a devotion. And so the more I kept working on this concept, the more I started thinking about sexuality and desire. And if you have this sexual creative energy, and have it they just don't focus on it and if you brought that energy up and swirled it up and took the desire of your partner or your desire to give whatever it is and offered it as an offering maybe that's what the goddesses are looking for I'm not looking for please help me please save me please give me money they're like come on ladies come on guys give us your sexual energy which isn't I'm not talking about like stupid stuff or silly stuff or porn stuff. I'm talking about real desire to expand yourself, to connect with another person, to heal, to use breath work, and just take all that energy. And then as alchemy would have it, you take those base metals or those base emotions and give them as an offering. And in turn, fuels them, feeds them because they have everything already. They just need that energy. And then they just perhaps just give it back to you. And so that's what happened over the next couple of weeks. I kept seeing different goddesses, but this time Narayani was pouring gold on me, which symbolized that that was I was on the right track. And I don't know how that's going to show up, but my teacher thought, thought that was a pretty cool thing.